Next question. Four pieces of different materials, W, X, Y, and Z, were placed over a funnel. Uh, and this funnel is also placed over a measuring cylinder. 20 milliliters of water was poured into each material. And the amount of water collected in the measuring cylinder as shown in the diagram below. All right, so which of the materials W, X, Y, and Z could absorb the most water? Uh, just to note that the diversity of materials, a material is waterproof and it does not absorb water. So if you look at the question, when you pour 20 ml to all these four materials, you can see that X has the most water that passes through it. All right. The same amount when poured on W uh, has, you know, somewhat uh, uh, a higher amount of water that passes through. However, uh, lesser water is passed through W compared to X. Now, we might want to ask ourselves, all right, what happened to that part of water? Since the same amount is poured here, what is happening? To the water that passed through, okay, if all the water that passes through gets this amount, what happened to the rest? Okay, so the answer is obviously it is absorbed uh, into the material W, all right? So that's why if you pour 20 here and 20 here, this amount passes through, but lesser amount pass through W because some of it is still in W. Likewise, if you look at Y, it's the same thing. 20 ml was spot here, but if you compare it to X, a lot of water passes through, whereas only a little bit of water passes through Y. And this is because the rest of that amount is still in Y. Because you don't see it in here. You don't see it in here, or neither do you see it in here. So that means some of the water has been absorbed into the material. Z, on the other hand, when you pour 20 ml, nothing gets through and all the water can still be seen up here. That means Z is waterproof, right? Z does not absorb water at all. And because Z does not absorb water, none can pass through. So you can imagine Z to be a piece of plastic. When you pour on a piece of plastic, everything remains there. You can imagine... Uh, Maybe, uh, you know, Y to be a very uh, absorbent material. So all the water is still retained within it compared to X and W. So with that, uh, it is quite easy. This, again, this question is quite easy. Uh, just remember that material is waterproof, okay, when it does not absorb water. All right. And... Um, Again, my usual reminder, so please replay and repeat the video if you don't understand. Do take down notes, okay, listen actively. Uh, write your comments below and I challenge you again, all right, um, make your own video like some of your friends has, have, okay? Thank you.